Bucks hosting the Pacers, and the Pacers are one and a half point road favorites. The over under is at 231 and a half. The Pacers are minus 120 on the money line, and the Bucks are plus 102. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get to tip off tomorrow. They played each other one, two, three, four, five times this year. And the Pacers are four and one against the Bucks in those games. 126, 124 in Indiana, 128, 119 in Milwaukee. Then the Bucks won 140, 126 at home. Then the Pacers won 122, 113 in Milwaukee. And then the Pacers won again 142 to 130 in Indiana. The Bucks lineup is supposed to be Lillard, Beasley, Middleton, Portis, and Lopez. Giannis is not listed. It says he's a game time decision, but we'll see if he plays. Then Halliburton, Nemhard, Nismith, Siakam, and Turner. Lineups have not been confirmed. That's just who's supposed to be there. Head to head, they're five and five against each other. The Pacers are on a two game winning streak. The home team's five and five. The underdog has won the last two. The underdog is six and four against the spread. The favorite is five and five on the money line. The over is eight and two, and the over 231 and a half is a perfect 10 and 0 in the last 10 games they've played against each other. The Pacers are seven and three in their last 10, six and four against the spread. The over is seven and three in their last 10. They're four and one in their last five. 232, 263, 249. And then 272 points, beating the Heat by two, the Raptors by 17, losing by nine to the Cavs, and then crushing the Hawks by 42 points. The over has hit in their last two, four, five games. For the Bucks, they're three and seven in their last ten, three and seven against the spread. The over under is five and five. They're two and two in their last four, and the unders uh they've lost their last two. 195, 216, 232, and then 201 points. Beating the Celtics by 13, beating the Magic by 18, losing by 18 to the Thunder, and then losing by 25 to the Magic. The last two games they played were on the road. And if I'm expecting Damian Lillard to have to carry this Bucks team, it's going to be a lot like what you saw with the Blazers. I don't think it happens. I'm going to take the Pacers with the money line. I'll take the Pacers getting uh, laying the point and a half, and I'll go over. And even if Giannis does play in this game, Seemingly, the Pacers own the Bucks, and that would be the ideal situation so you can get them as an underdog. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut, and please bet responsibly.